Hey guys! Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to put your face onto a celebrity face. And this is what your uh, Photopia project is going to be. Okay, so you're going to need a few things here to start. First of all, you want to find a photo online that you want to match and then like put your face on. And then you got to either take a photo or find a photo that works for the photo you're trying to match. So if you have a head on shot of the celebrity, you want to make sure that yours is a head on shot. If your picture that you're looking for is a celebrity that has their head turned slightly, you got to make sure that the picture that you choose or you take copies that or else it doesn't really work that well. So I've gone ahead and I am going to take a picture of Princess Diana from the 1980s because I like watching The Crown and this is kind of a fun thing. You guys maybe don't know who this person is, but I'm going to do it anyways. So I'm just going to take this image. I'm going to, this is actually nice because it's nice and large already. I did search up large images, so I'm just going to go copy image, going back into Photopia, file, new, and create. It's the same pixels, good, and paste it in, okay? So then here's my new project. If you want to rename your project, you can actually just double click on there at any time. Okay, so you're going to have to have the picture that you want to put your face on and your face. I'm just going to move this over here. Okay, so I want to put this face of mine from Christmas onto Diana's face. All right, so you want to have both of these open in a tab, your picture and the picture that you're trying to put your face on. Okay, so go back to your picture of your face and you're going to get the lasso tool out. Now, just the regular one. You don't want the polygon. You don't want the magnetic one. Just the regular lasso tool. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of outline your face. So you're just clicking and dragging. It doesn't have to be super perfect because you're going to blend it all together anyways. I just want to get my glasses in there and my eyebrows in there. Good enough. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it kind of outlines the face. Okay. So now we're going to copy this and paste it into our new our Diana image. So I'm going to go copy, which is command C or edit and copy. Uh, and then I'm going to go to Diana and I'm going to paste it in. Okay. So it's super small. The next step is you're going to try and match the size and the rotation and everything. So it looks the same as the other one. So I'm going to resize this first. So I'm going to go free transform because that's a good one. Make sure you press shift when you size this up so that it is in proportion. Okay. So I'm going to kind of estimate right now. It's about the same size, but it's not quite at the right angle. So I'm going to make sure I got to rotate this. Okay. So when you move your cursor over, you see how it goes to the other little arrow there. That's the rotate. So I'm going to click and drag. I'm going to rotate that so it's straight-ish. I'm going to move my face over here. All right. Now, if I was lazy, this would be like the lazy way of making a photo onto a face. But there's better ways of doing this, making it a little bit better. And we're going to do that. So right now, I'm not quite 100% happy with this. But I'm just going to press the check mark up here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, making sure my layer 2 is selected with your face on it. I'm going to go over to the opacity. Okay, so if I click on here and move my dial, you can see how close you are to the original. Well, not that bad, but it looks like I need to rotate a little bit because my eyes are a little wonky. Okay, so I'm going to go at about uh, halfway there. So now I'm going to go back and try and match up the eyes and the nose so things line up a bit better. Free transform. Okay, so it looks like it has to go up a bit and then... Okay, even the nose, I think I gotta make this a little bit bigger. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go back to my slider. Not quite. Still needs a little bit of rotating, I think. It's close. So you're gonna have to play around with this for a bit to get it as close as you can. Uh, hmm. You can play with the opacity to sort of see how it fits. That's not bad. Okay, I don't mind that. Okay, 
I'm going to bring the opacity back up to 100%. Now, it's still looking pretty trash right now. Okay, so we are going to, we're going to select our face again, and there's a quick way of doing this. If you press Command or Control on your Chromebooks, and you click on the actual icon image of your face, it actually selects the face, which is a super cool option to do. So now we're going to play around to see if we can kind of match the tones a little bit. So I'm going to go to image adjustments and you can play around with some of these, maybe not these, but like some of these levels can also change the way things look. You can play around with the sliders a little bit. That's not right. You can see what it does. Darker, lighter. So I'm going to go okay and maybe change. So play around with some of these a bit. This one, sometimes you got to watch because if you go, you got like an alien face. You kind of have to, it's like little, just tiny adjustments. Just a bit. It's going to blend itself in a little bit better, I think, as we go. So you can play around with all these if you want a little bit more of one color or another. Oops, not quite like that. It's still kind of gross, but. It's okay. Not exactly quite the way I want it, but it's still, it'll blend itself in hopefully better. Okay. So I've got those selected. Um, so I'm going to deselect my face. So command D. And what I'm going to do now is we're going to auto blend and see how well this blends together. Okay. So right now we've got layer two selected, but I want layer one and layer two selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press shift I'm going to click on the other layer, so layer one. Now they're both selected. Okay. And now I'm going to go to edit. And I'm going to go all the way down to auto blend. And I'm going to wait. Now this is probably where Photopia is going to lag for a while um, because it's trying to actually compute the things that you're trying to do. And Photoshop's faster with this. And of course, because this is our free online thing, it may lag out and it'll probably do that. Page unresponsive, just do wait. Hopefully your Chromebooks can handle this. I'm doing this on my Mac, so we'll see. But it will eventually, it might take a while and it should magically render. Ta-da, there it is. So it's still a little bit, you can see a little bit over there and a little bit here. I think I should have cut my face out a little bit so it doesn't blend quite around there, but still pretty good. Um, all right, there is our face, which isn't too bad at all. It's not the worst thing in the world. So then all that you can do now is you can go file and save as, export as JPEG. And then that's how you have it. That's how you do a face blend in Photopia. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you later. Bye-bye.